Hey everybody, it's Judy with Talk To Me Tuesday. It is Friday, February the 24th. I hope everyone's had a wonderful week. Um, I've been quite productive this week. I've gotten a lot done. And, um, well, yesterday I went and visited my friend Becky. We met up here a month or so ago at Joann's. And um, when, I, when I had put out the shout out that you know, that I'd like to meet up with a couple of people around here. Uh, she was, uh, she was like, yeah, let's do that. So yesterday we met up for lunch. We had an absolutely amazing time and we just sit there and we talked for what felt like hours and we just really, really had a good visit and it was much needed and I thoroughly enjoyed it. We also um, gave each other small gifts. I did bring her a boa, one of the new quilters boas that I had made. And she brought me these amazing little microwave bows. And I just love them. She, of course, I love the colors. Turquoise is one of my favorites. And, um, but she did such an amazing job and I love them. And thank you so very much, Becky, for, uh, thinking of me and getting these done. Um, I absolutely love them. And as soon as I brought them in the house, my husband's like, oh, I love these things. And he immediately puts them into the kitchen. I was like, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> So, anybody that's watched me on Facebook or Instagram uh, knows that I did uh, make the dive and I bought me a new machine. Um, originally, I was, well, I had purchased the Cunic 15R. When it came in, it was a, a Cunic 15 Pro. I absolutely love the Cunic 15 Pro. I felt a little weird about it because I purchased one and I got a different machine. So, I did call the company and I was like, hey, um, I absolutely love the machine. I really don't want to send it back, but um, y'all sent me the wrong machine. And they were like, no, 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 we just decided we had ran out of the 15 R's. And so we just decided to send you an upgrade. I couldn't be happier. I just absolutely love it. I've been working on it on and off all week. And let me show you a few things that I've done. Um, so the first thing is, this is a Doctor Who panel that I've been working on for a long time. And I know it's just a panel, but I've been using this for practicing. And so, um, which is why I used black fabric on the back so I could really go in and I could see what was happening. Um, but if you look, you can kind of see from my, th this top, whole top section was done by my older, older machine. And you can kind of see the area that I was able to sew in. Um, and it, it did just fine, and like I said, I was just practicing on different, on different uh, patterns and uh, stuff like that, just to kind of get the feel for free motion quilting. And so, pretty much, almost half of the quilt is done with my own machine, and then the other half of the quilt is done with uh, the new machine. And as you see, I've tried to do. The little dots here. I've done some hearts here. Uh, just random patterns just to, just to um, you know, get a feel for the machine. Um, I'll just put a binding on it and we'll just use it as a little throw blanket. And then um, after I finish that, then I put my puzzle quilt up. I've decided to use it for a cover for my embroidery machine. So I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to make a simple cover for my embroidery machine. I, I probably have way more than what I actually need. So I might make a couple of small things out of it also. But the first thing is, of course, to make a cover for my um, sewing machine. So uh, it went really well. I just put a simple green on the back. This was leftover fabric from a different quilt that I worked on. Of course, I have a much larger throat space, so I had less changeovers when I had to progress the quilt. And so then I put a medium quilt on, um, which is my Doctor Who quilt. It's the first one of three that I'm making. The first one is um, the current Doctors. So you're talking about, um, you know, Christopher, David Tennant, Matt Smith, uh, Jodie Whittaker, uh, them are the characters that's on this one. I do have a second Doctor Who that's got all the original Doctors on it, and then a few um, of the companions um, are on it. And then I have a third one that I'm working on, which is mainly companions, but I haven't finished up all of them patterns yet. I've 
Um, my inspiration has actually went to something new now, and I've been working on a new, on a new fandom quilt, and, you know, once you kind of get into the zone of something new, it's hard to backtrack. One of the other things that I worked on, I did make a few more boas, and, um, everybody has seen these, so I'm just gonna show y'all. Um, they still need the top stitch put on them and the um, pin cushion. They still need them, but I wanted to have a few extra as gifts for um, for a couple of things. And then the other thing that I worked on is Michelle is having a mystery quilt right now, and so I've decided to participate in that. I've gotten week one done, and I've printed out week two, but um, she... Um, when she released the collars, uh, she was like, go bright, go bright. Well, I don't think this is exactly what she had in mind, but, uh, I decided neon is bright. So I ended up going neon. I'm pretty excited about that. Like I said, I have printed out the second clue. I'll have, I'll probably work on that sometime this week. Um, maybe this weekend. It depends. Let's see what else. I, I guess that's it. I mean, but it's been a, I've gotten a lot done. You know, I've met up with a couple of people. It's been beautiful. It's been absolutely amazing. It's exactly what I needed. That's all I've got going on this week. And I look forward to watching y'all's videos. I will see y'all later. Bye!